Sasa sana mwanabari wetu Kisewe Emory kwa taarifa hiyo. Huku serikali kipania kukomesha visa vya dhulma za kijinsia ifikapo mwaka 2026. Imebainika kuwa bado kuna pengo hususan katika sheria na huduma za afya humu nchini. Takwimu za serikali zinaashiria kuwa jumla ya 47% ya wanawake wamepitia aina mbalimbali za dhulma za kijinsia tangu walipohitimu miaka 15. Mwanabari wetu Elizabeth Atieno amezungumza na manusuro wa dhulma za kijinsia na hapa taarifa yake. Hawa ni manusura wa dhulma za kijinsia ingawa wamenusurika wengi bado hawajapata haki Yaki Mutere anasimulia safari yake ya miaka 15 ya kutafuta haki tangu kunajisiwa wakati wa vita vya baada ya uchaguzi wa mwaka 2007. na saba. It was a very bad experience and because of the violation I ended up with having, having a baby because of that and that's when the initiative um, I started decided to have an initiative that supports specifically survivors who um, were violated and then uh, uh, conceived from the violation and have children from the violation. Kwa mutere na manusura wenza, mashirika ya siyo ya serikali ndiyo kimbilio lao ambapo wanaweza kufichuka na kupokea ushauri na saha. We focus on self-agency because we, need, we believe that the survivor themselves should tell their own story and we also believe in memorialization that not a single story, a single woman's story, a single survivor story should ever be lost. Takwimu kutoka ripoti ya KDHS ya mwaka 2022 zinaashiria kuwa asilimia 34 ya wanawake wamepitia dhulma za kimwili huku asilimia 13 wakikabiliwa na ukatili wa kijinsia. As we gather here, let us remember that behind every statistic, every case that comes before the courts, there's a human being, a life irrevocably altered. Idara ya mahakama nchini imetenga mahakama 12 zitakazoangazia kesi za dhulma za kijinsia mahakama kuu ikiwa ya Shanzu kaunti ya Mombasa ila unyanyapa umewazuia waathiriwa kuripoti pisa hivyo The implementation of laws that penalize sexual violence and support survivors in the legal process is a testament to the government's commitment it has created an environment where survivors can find justice and support for their mental health needs. Wito sasa umetolewa kwa serikali kufanya marekebisho katika sheria ya afya ya akili ya mwaka 2022 ili kuangazia matakwa ya manusura wa dhulma za kijinsia wanaohitaji huduma za kisaikolojia na ushauri na saha. Uh, there is need to establish a mental health council in reference to the provisions of the Mental Health Amendment Act. Kulingana na tume ya kupambana na haki za kibinadamu asilimia tano ya wakenya wanaozuru vituo mbali mbali vya afya wana tatizo la afya ya kiakili. Takwimu hizi zikiashiria umuhimu wa kuajiri wa huduma wa afya zaidi watakaoweza kutoa huduma kwa manusura wa dhulma za kijinsia. Elizabeth Atieno TV47 na